Good morning. It is a beautiful day here in Ho Chi Minh City. So yesterday I went on the Saigon water bus. I was a little confused because I was informed that this was like a tour thing, but it's not actually. It's just public transportation here in Saigon. But the majority of people who use it strictly use it as a way to get some really stunning views of the city. And so in this video, it's shot 100% with the iPhone 8, including this clip. And it's also edited with the iPhone 8 too, because it comes with iMovie. Now again, this is just a personal travel channel and I like to try out little things like this. So I'm curious just to see how, how good of a video can you make with just an iPhone, just a camera and just iMovie on an iPhone. Now the video rate is shot at 1080p at 30 frames a second. Uh, you know, the, the iPhone 8 comes with the ability to shoot at 60 frames or 4K. I decided to leave everything on default and it's at 1080p at 30 frames a second. So anyways, let's get to the video right now. Audio test one, two, three. This is a voiceover using iMovie with the iPhone 8. It probably sounds pretty mediocre. All of the talking headshots in this video were used with the selfie camera as the main camera on the phone is way too cropped in. Alright everybody, so this is the Saigon Water Bus Tour. So if you just want to find this place, all you do is search for Saigon Water Bus. And once you get to this location, the office building to actually buy your ticket is located over here. Now the actual price is 15000 one way. So the price is actually 30000 it's 15000 to go, and then 15000 to come back. And along the lines right here, you have different uh, spots where you can get off, and as well as the time that you'll be coming back purchase your ticket very simple just walk in there and ask for help that's all you have to do and then enjoy the view and it's quite a lovely area obviously very beautiful and just sit and wait for the water bus and there's various cafes and restaurants located over here so if you want to get something to drink you can and there's many different places to uh, go and park your bike so this is one example right here basically 10,000 Vietnamese dong to park your bike um, it's also a nice spot just to park your bike if you want to just explore this area anyways. And this is the bar. <laughs> so this is the lovely bar. So if you want, you can buy your ticket, the water bus, and then you can come over here and chill and relax and have a drink. So Saigon's a great city. There's a lot of variety here. You just need to know where to go. And I think the main issue a lot of foreigners have is like they just hit Saigon, they hit up Wee Bien, then they just have the bad, they have a wrong impression of Saigon because they don't get to see. All right, so basically this is the bus route, the water bus route, and where it goes. So it begins in District 1 at Bak Dong Station. Goes up the river, Saigon Pearl, Penan here. And then we have Tao Dien, which is District 2. And it goes all the way up through the river up to Ling Dong here. And then you make your way all the way back. 15,000 one way, 15,000 to come back. I mean, I guess if you wanted to use this as transportation, you could, but most people use it as a uh, tour to get around. is now is you just sit and wait so that's all we really have to do so it's uh, six o'clock right now very beautiful the next water taxi arrives at 6 15 and we should be back at the pier that we left at 
in about one hour. So really nice, really nice. And it's actually quite convenient if you're wanting to take a taxi to different districts because like we're pretty far away from district one now. Junie, what district are we in? Toduk district. Huh? Toduk district. Toduk. Toduk district, whatever that is. So it's kind of far away. But we're just going to sit and wait for the taxi to come pick us up. Now, what they're doing is that they're waiting for basically a ferry to come pick them up. The ferry goes back and forth at this area, so. <laughs> there it is off in the distance, so. that's it for this video if you enjoyed it consider subscribing hit that like button again 100 on the iphone 8 and i think that's pretty dang impressive that you can shoot and edit a quality video on something as simple as an iphone it's particularly even when compared to like five years ago how difficult it was to get high quality video uh, anyways it's definitely not going to be replacing my sony x3000 and it's definitely not going to be replacing my dslr but as a like fun little casual option if you just want to make videos or you know for casual use and that's kind of like what i do here on this channel particularly like you know i'm not trying to be the next loss leblanc guys i just like i'm a guy who just likes to make travel videos for fun i have an online business this is literally just a fun channel for just for me to post whatever i want that's travel related obviously uh, so anyways i'm pretty impressed with the iphone you can get a lot done with it anyways i'm starting to ramble so we'll leave it there see you next video guys bye bye iMovie on the iPhone 8 was an absolute joy to create and edit this video with and I have to give props to Apple for creating one impressive piece of software. Now I'm currently recording this using the voiceover feature of iMovie using the phone as the microphone so the audio quality is going to be a bit mediocre as I typically record with a Zoom H2N for voiceover work which is a proper microphone but again I want to make this video 100% uh, with the phone. It was all shot on the iPhone 8, it was edited with an iPhone 8, and it was uploaded to YouTube with an iPhone 8. Now iMovie is fantastic on the iPhone 8, but there were a couple limitations that I did run into. So the first one was that I was not able to overlay clips on one another. Then for as regards to color grading that's pretty much non-existent there are color profiles you can select but i found them to all to be a little bit too uh, saturated and then three was text <laughs> something as simple as text was actually quite frustrating because you can add text to a clip uh, but then it stays on the entire clip so if you have a two minute clip you're going to have text on that two minute clip the entire time so you can't have control over it like i just want the text to appear for like 10 seconds and then have it disappear after 10 seconds you can't actually do that 
And so I found that to be a little bit annoying. But otherwise, iMovie was quick and easy to pick up and it was just very intuitive and I was able to edit this video within like an hour and I just found that to be absolutely fantastic. So again, this was entire video was on the iPhone 8. Hope you enjoyed it.